nearly 3 million customers without power. A disaster declaration has already been declared. People are getting desperate for the bare necessities. At least 15 dead. I'm a community organizer with the Texas Organizing Project. We're a community-based group that goes around trying to be the change that we want to see in the neighborhood. El día de hoy estamos aquí porque estamos a tratando de platicar con las familias en la comunidad para ver cómo están después de la tormenta que pasó. Si no la pasamos bien porque todos nos echan perder y por eso nos agarró sin dinero también. You're doing good. I lost all my food. I almost froze to death. No electricity. No lights, no water. When that darkness hit that day and everybody didn't have no lights, there's a lot of people who were scared, man. You know, that's why we got to hold our elected officials accountable, right, for the things that are happening. These could have been prevented. And we're looking to build power in our community because it's somebody's fault that your daughter's pipe burst and then she went without water for how long? We did that water bait for two weeks. Two weeks. And we know that the governor always chooses profit over people, right? Our lives are always on the line. He does not care about us. That's true. And stories like yours are what matters. We want your voice to be heard. And sometimes it just takes one or two people from the community to make something happen. Texas for All para mí es unir nuestras esfuerzas, juntar nuestros sueños, juntar nuestras fortalezas, juntar que nuestra, que nuestra voz sea escuchada para vivir sin estrés, sin racismo y que nuestros hijos tengan un mejor futuro. Top is working across housing, criminal justice, education, labor, every issue that affects our communities. And I hope to see you there alongside us in this fight for Texas for All, because that means it includes you. How does it feel to have a community organizer? Oh, it's good to know somebody cares. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fight for yourself and your neighbors. Yes, yes. Because after all, this is the community that I live in. That's right. Who else is going to help? Need that village back, you know, to kind of make these people raise the children. All right, thank y'all for taking our time, and I'll be looking forward to hearing y'all. Appreciate y'all so much. That's all right. One day you're gonna be out here with us, okay? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Take it to the top.